What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in to Savage Studios. We on the road today. We bobbing. We gotta take care of some business in another state. Suck real top security classified type stuff. But um, I got the beautiful Miss Brittany Sav right here. And we're gonna talk about all kinds of stuff. All these things, all these videos I've been putting out, I'm gonna run it by her. She's just gonna give me her input on uh, how she sees things, you know, because we always hear from ex gangsters, gangsters, ex convicts, convicts, you know, what their opinion is. We always hear from a lot of guys what their opinion is. But let's hear from a woman who never been to jail, never been to prison, um, not a part of any gang, just uh, all around good girl, right? What a thing for a bad guy. <laughs> but not for real though, we're gonna, we're gonna get her in. First thing first, how do you feel about that uh, Booty Bandit video that I had put out with Patches? How do you feel, how do you think uh, uh, you would react if Patches, let's say you were like a nurse and you worked in the prison, and Patches knocked on his door when you walked by and was like, he lifted up his patch, he was like, let me get a good look at you, girl. <laughs> what would you do? What do you think, though, honestly? I'm just kidding. But what do you think, man? After 80 times being, uh, according to how they put it, was being raped. After wow. 80 fucking times, though, baby. What do you think it was? Was it a relationship? Or was it actually happening 80 times? And who kept count? steps at least here in california where let's say you and your cellie are not getting along um you can let the floor staff know that you want a different cellie you put in uh, if you're going to go to a different a different cell mate you got to sign the chrono it's a piece of paper the sergeant okays it in like an hour or two and you guys move cells but if you're going into a cell by yourself if there happens to be an empty cell you don't have to sign that paper you can just leave the cell good point yeah no matter what prison this dude is in there's no reason he couldn't have gotten moved to a different cell other than the fact that the guy probably told him, I'll kill you or have you killed if you go to a different cell in this yard. So, wow, that was really that was really detailed. Now, what the hell road am I on? Gosh. So, anyhow, tell me, let's see, what was the other video that I had just recently put out? Um, the one that, that you really liked. Pick a video you want to discuss. You pick, and then I'll pick the next one after that. Um, well, what about this last one that you just did? Patches? No. Which one did I put out? Or, is it the one you're going to do? Which one? She's high off me, <laughs> so don't worry about her. She smoked with me. So, anyways, um, I want to ask you, why don't you just tell me, man, what do you, what do you think of? About a, a, the whole prison concept on YouTube, like I know you, I know you're like biased because of my channel and you know I'm the best. And I'm just, but the for, <laughs> for real though, I do want to know, like, uh, does it intrigue you uh, to hear about stories of like, let's just say, like what just happened up north with those two dudes in, in Vacaville who got killed? Uh, basically, both got whacked. The both victims, it was two victims, they both got hit by a pair of two individuals. Now, that's an organized hit because one died not even a minute, maybe a minute or so after the other guy got stabbed up in his neck and his back. The next guy went and got stabbed up in his neck and his back. 
Like when you hear about stories like that, you've heard the stories that I've told you. Um, what is it? What is it like, man? What do you What do you think of? How does it make you feel? And what do you think about this big boom of prison channels on on YouTube? What, what, what's your opinion? Well, you know how I told you, like before we were dating, I was always watching like Locked Up and all that stuff on yeah. Netflix. Yeah. I don't know if it's because I binge watched everything and then like that was just another documentary like that I just kind of started watching out of nowhere just to give it a chance because I don't know anything about like that yeah. life, you know? Yeah, absolutely nothing. You're not even, you're from no a whole, family has ever you're really cut from a whole different cloth. Yeah. Ever. So it was really interesting and like once I started watching a, a couple episodes, I was just really intrigued. Um, so like hearing all the stories it's just really interesting because when it gets when you're locked up it's like any decision that you make could be like the most horrible fatal. Yeah, like fatal. decision ever or it could be like a, a good one that's gonna help you in some way even if it's not good but it's just crazy like all of these obstacles and the decisions that you guys have to make like in that it's like its own community almost with its own guidelines and rules and does it do anything like is it is it kind of like have this like wow factor or shock value when you see like human beings basically like in cells or cages like men yeah all tatted up and stuff like that right sad kind of like yeah i don't know it's sad and it it's sad especially because like hearing all of like the politics and all that stuff it's like anyone that doesn't know anything about that you can just think like oh it's just a bunch of fucking fuck ups that are just in prison yeah. just making bad decisions just because that's what they do and it's like they actually like kind of have to yeah exactly you know and it's like we don't understand that you know and it's it's just very interesting yeah and guys i've actually given her um a very in-depth uh you know detail not only from the youtube does she know about like what's my situation but i've really broke everything down for her so she she knows you know about the politics and why I chose to walk away from certain things that I walked away from and how she supports that and respects me more as a man as the leader that I am it only makes sense to her and aligns with the kind of man I am now she, it's like oh no duh you would have done that no duh you walked away that's not yeah. even your that's not even your type of drink anyways and to begin with you know so but it's cool because um, she made a video called Dating Dating an Ex-Convict, right? And, you know, to touch back on that video, babe, uh, you know, life for us has been pretty crazy, you know, because we go from a very weird institutionalized state of mind. You could be institutionalized and you could be institutionalized within that institutionalism. It gets very detailed, very detailed. And your partner out here can be the person that uh, pays the price, you know, for what happened to you in prison in certain different ways. It could be just super uptight. It could be real, uh, uh, I don't know, stern, strict about certain things or, or not have this like, for me, it's like I always, I have to remind myself that I'm no longer in that area. I'm no longer around any type of, uh, vibes like that the chemistry that's going on with me and her and my family is always good and positive and they're not coming from a malicious place where it's zero to 100 so that's cool that you elaborated baby um how do you feel about like i said about this big old boom of like uh prison channels do you think it's a good thing do you think do you think we're wasting our time what kind of people do you think have good channels what kind of people what are the me what's the message of youtube prison channels after prison channels or whatever they call it that resonates good with you and sits with you well what I, first of all what i think about the big boom of all the prison channels i think it was expected because there's like a lot of stuff on like hulu netflix all that stuff that's exposing things that um well maybe not necessarily fully exposing but it's um letting people in on like prison life so with those documentaries um youtube's only getting more and more popular so it was yeah. I think. Yeah, that makes sense. It would only trickle down to the prison. Yeah. But it doesn't. I didn't think that it would blow up like it is. I yeah, think at some point, like, you know, some channels would probably open. But, anyways, um, I think some of the channels. 
ones that are out there, I think the ones that make the, them kind of stupid and annoying to me are the ones that you're just like constantly talking about negative stuff or just like trying to like make yourself seem tough or like whatever. Yeah. And I think a lot of the stuff that you share is just necessary stuff that you're sharing um, on all aspects of everything you've experienced in there. You know, you're not just showing videos of all like violence and all that stuff. So I think the guys that are doing only that, they think that that's what works and eventually <laughs> your stories run out, you know? And exactly. it's like, what else are you left with? You have nothing else about your character other than huh. violence to expose. Yeah, um, that's actually really, uh, that's really, that's really a, a good perspective because, you know, I know my, my beautiful wife over here, she's not, she would never... Like, unless you come for me, she ain't going to disrespect you or nothing you're about. And, and I, I would disrespect you myself. I don't need my wife to say anything towards anyone. But what she's giving is an unbiased, just a, a real formulated opinion on what the fuck looks good and what's not a good look to a, to a regular civilian. You know, she's a civilian. So it makes sense, man, because I do put out a lot of educational videos and even though she knows I'm diverse and even though she loves, you know, what I do, I beat myself up when I get a little too negative, man, because you don't always need to have a specific message for people, but you do always need to make sure your message isn't negative and something that's going to take away from people. I want a message that people can take away from. And we've talked about so much stuff, like, compared to all of the, like, I guess you could say, like, um, violent stories that you've shared, you've told me a million of them, and it's like, you know, you don't... Oh, yeah, I've got way, yeah, I've, I've got way more things. And the fact that you choose to, like, share other stuff just shows the depth of, like, your character and, um, your capabilities, and it's... Awesome. Yeah, because, real talk, guys, this is some real talk right here, this is all I'll say about this. There are certain things that took place that your boy really can't speak on. That none of these other dudes uh, could even come close to, as far as a, a crazy experience or whatever. Uh, that's it. You know what I mean? There's certain things that appear in the heart, but that's it. On YouTube, I'll put out you know some little war stories here, they're, but they're just they're not uh, of of any deadly, uh, no one died in a, if, if it is about someone dying nine times out of ten, it's in a different prison, I wasn't with him and if I was with him, he was in a different block, maybe but anything closer to that, anything closer to me than that, I got nothing to say about it, right? Doesn't mean it didn't happen, doesn't mean that I wasn't around certain things, doesn't mean anything like that, just means I got nothing to say about it, okay? Um, but anyways, let's get back to this beautiful girl, I'm, I'm so lost right now with her answers and her Answering these questions is pretty cool, man. So, what is the secret? Do good girls like bad guys? Or what the hell's going on? Because I did 10 years in prison, just in case you didn't know that. Oh my gosh, you did? <gasps> Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, so 10 in the pen, man, and she fell in love with a thug. So, the question is... You gotta look at her. You gotta look at her. Her history, right? All the guys she dated, squares, good guys, some not so good guys, but they looked like good guys. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, they were like them, like the golden, you know, the golden wrapper on chocolate bar. And it ain't really gold. It's just chocolate. Shit. Right? <laughs> so, uh, what is it? Well, first of all. I didn't just like go searching out like conflict. Okay, let's Maybe. clarify. Let's get this clarified. She did not go looking for a convict or a thug. Okay, so what happened then? Okay, so we knew each other when we were younger. For real? <laughs> and you didn't tell me? Whenever I seen you again and seen you on social media. I had made a Facebook when I got out. Yeah, true enough. Everyone knows this already. And I was looking at your videos and stuff. Like, oh, freaking sexy and shit. Working out. But I didn't know, like, you know, what your history was. Okay. I knew, because remember I told you I seen, um, like, an old Facebook, like, a long time ago. And it was obviously your locked up. But that was a while ago, so I didn't know how long it was, what your charges were, anything like that. Never heard anything. It just so happened that you did. 
yeah, the picture that she saw of me when I was locked up, because when I had a cell phone, I had made a Facebook page. Your boy was kind of big, man. I was like, holy shit, he got huge. Yeah, your boy was your boy was really working it out over there in the pen at that point. And I guess she had peep game. I didn't even know this. Um, I couldn't find her at the time. I was trying to find her. I remember I'd asked my homeboy, like, hey, um, look her up real quick for me, you know, and try to find her. I can't remember what he told me. I think he told me she was with somebody. I'm not sure. But when I had got out, she was already with some dude. She had been with him for seven years. So uh, that didn't work out, whatever the case is. And first date took place. And let me just tell you guys, man, the chemistry was real. But the one thing that she did love was I noticed that she loved all the qualities that your boy had picked up from the pen. Yeah. Like it was qualities that you get as a man doing time in prison that other solid homies like, right? Like, cause you can be a man and as a, as a secure man in your, in your own secureness, if you see another homie and he's cool, he's got the good, he got great vibes, you guys are getting along, you guys like the same shit, he seems like his qualities and morals are aligned with yours, then hey, that, there's gonna be that chemistry to at least to be uh, yard dogs, to work out with each other, maybe sell up, kick it with each other, have each other's back or whatever. Okay, she happened to like those, she happened to, to fall in love with the same qualities that prison gave me and I noticed that right off bat so you gotta ask yourself well is it the bad guy that she liked is it the well, bad boy that she liked okay you know you being in prison you worked on a certain program and everything timed out like certain times and um just very like organized with your time yeah. so I grew up with a military dad so every time we go on okay. vacation with him okay. he would have us on a set program you know, and so like I was kind of like, um, I guess used to dealing with a man in a sense that. All right, well, it had you hadn't since you were with your dad when you were younger, right? Yeah. So well, I grew in up between though. In five point five miles. But in between though. River uh, Road. Well, hold on. This automated voice in my car wants to argue with me. But uh, in between then, you had a bunch of guys who were not. Um, yeah, but routine. I mean, you don't you don't go on a first date with a guy and say, "Are you routine? Do you do yeah. this, this, and that?" You kind of are with them for a while, and over time, realize that that's not. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I think that's one quality like that. Why I think that we connect good on because yeah. I'm used to that okay. and I like it and I'm comfortable with it. And, okay. And it's very attractive as well that okay. you're not just you know wake up with no freaking plans for the day or anything like that so it's no it's not really so much as like be real to my viewers though be real to my viewers i i did a lot of laser uh, removal tat on my tattoos on my face but the tats the hard body the swag right at fresh out of the out of the pen did that do anything for you <laughs> Sorry, good guys. Just kidding. I'm one of you guys now, but that's amazing, man. Thanks for admitting that. Anyways, let's get off that topic. You guys been peeping game on this tattoo right here? It's a work in progress. Show them, baby. Give them the whole side view of it. You got to move your hair. You got to move this hair right here. I'll post it when it's done. I don't know if you, can, you can't really see it too well. But uh, uh, it's it's a work in progress. We're taking it slow. The pain is really big for her. You know, the pain scale is like a 10 for her. So we're doing one letter at a time. But uh, it's a very beautiful tattoo, man. And uh, I'm so excited about it. Yeah, man. And so we, we, getting it, we, we getting it going. Everyone's always asking for a tattoo video. Um, after we're done with the neck, we're going to start finishing up the chest. And then I'll work on her thigh and the leg. So I think on the thigh piece, we'll start making videos and pumping out the videos for y'all because uh, uh, she's the canvas, you know, and I'm the artist, so we're going to make it do what it do. 